All right, everyone, how you all doing? I'm Fiesta here, and today we have some motherboard news, firstly. And that is, that's right, AMD B650 motherboards are coming, and we already have the details or the images of all the motherboards right here. And if you look into it, this is the ASRock Tai Chi Steel, uh, or it's the Steel Legend, not Tai Chi. Uh, Steel Legend motherboard right here. And this is the Micro ADX one, so, yeah pretty cool and I like the aesthetics white and black it just looks good some ash yeah for sure and next up we have Tai Chi that's the one I'm, I was talking about again the same look I really like Tai Chi for this design it's, it looks classy you know what I mean and right there it's the micro ADX model and we have B650 EPG Reptide Wi-Fi this is probably uh, a new model from ASRock, I believe. Very new, because I've never heard about Riptide before. So there it is, uh, Riptide model, and of course the B650E uh, Micro ADX model for this one. Next up we have PGITX Wi-Fi, again Gigabyte, or sorry, ASRock. And it's more for budget friendly, I believe, hopefully, because looking at the pricing, it, it's kind of crazy. Like X670 pricing has been crazy, so I'm guessing B650 will be less cheaper. And this is the ITX board, which is the smallest board and good for ITX builders, I guess. Pretty cool. This is an option. PG, uh, what's the name again? ITX, uh, right there. PG ITX is in the name, so what am I even saying? Uh, next up, we have Gigabyte Aorus Master. They're featuring this board and it looks nice. Again, usual, nothing really, you know, design. And design wise, they didn't change anything, it feels like. Yeah, just the same. No ITX uh, or Micro ATX. I don't see it. Next up, we have Elite A AX. Of course, the Elite version of them. And these are these are Micro ATX, as you can see. So, yeah. Pretty cool looking. These are, these are going to be expensive, though. That's for sure. And what are these? Interesting. What are these? Let me let me see. Uh, this is the feature. These are the... This is the BCR's Elite AX that I've featured. And this is the... MSI MPG650 Carbon Wi-Fi. So this is the MSI or this is the Aorus board, not the MSI board. This one is the MSI board. Wait, this is not the MSI board, huh? Oh, this is still Aorus. <laughs> okay, they're still featuring Aorus. Never mind. And this is the Gigabyte White version. I believe this is the... I don't really remember the name of that. They say... This is a new coding, new modeling, I, I believe. I don't know. And this is the um, um, this is the MSI Mag 650 Carbon Wi-Fi. This is the one, not the previous one. <laughs> Those were Gigabyte models, but this is the MSI Carbon Wi-Fi. Yeah, pretty cool looking. I mean, these are always been some classy, uh, you know, expensive high tier boards, and it's also B650. So, yeah, and yeah, this is the same board. This is a mortar. I'm excited for this one because it's more of a budget friendly one. Even though it's not really the budget friendly, it's more of a semi budget friendly. And they're bringing in Wi Fi with this one right now. Okay. I guess Wi Fi is necessary nowadays. But yeah, this is a mortar board coming with uh, MSI. And next up, we have uh, Tomahawk. That's the more demanding version, or popular version from MSI, I believe. Tomahawk. And that's the board, basically. That's the 650p Wi-Fi. Again, they're adding Wi-Fi to all the boards, I believe. At least for MSI, it seems like. And this is more of a budget-friendly one right there. Yeah, pretty small. I'm uh, not small. Not small. It's just the VRM looks less beefier compared to other ones, but it's still beefy enough. If you look, in, if you look into it, pretty much good. And this is the Micro ADX. Again, Wi-Fi. They're adding Wi-Fi. B63 MA Wi-Fi. So all the boards from MSI will support Wi-Fi. That's crazy. I haven't seen this one before. From MSI, of course. And this is their uh, AMG or MAG, whatever you call it. 650i Edge Wi-Fi. So a white variant. And they also have a fan here. Interesting. So for cooling, it'll be nice, I guess. And for sure, this is an ITX board. By looking at it, you can you can tell. So this is nice. And this is the more of a ATX board right here. And again, Wi-Fi. MSI is going all in with Wi-Fi. Look at that. This is the Edge Wi-Fi ATX model. So 
I like this design. I like it, really. Yeah, and it's also beefy enough. Look at that. Pretty solid. Robust, I would say. So yeah, this is it. All the boards have been featured right here. That's pretty cool. Next up, we have Intel Arc A7 GPUs are already in G uh, reviewer's hand. And this one right here, as you can see, this is a gold edition that is going to the reviewers. Sad to see that we won't be getting them because I guess it's the reviewers only. But yeah, whatever. I don't care. So this is a box. Gold variant, I guess. But initially, the car looks the same. And it's also limited edition, which is, yeah, I guess it makes sense. And yeah, reviewers are getting the boards right now. And Hardware Unbox already got it. So we'll be waiting for their review because they do some good reviews, you know. And similar to the story, we have the AIB cards, custom cards, obviously. And if you look into it, there it is. Azrock card right here. All three of them, I believe. Oh, no, this is a gunner model. Yeah, this is the first gunner model that probably they're... A uh, Chinese one, I believe. Yeah. And these are the two Azrock cards. So this is probably Red Dragon. Or may not be Red Dragon. Let's see the naming. They didn't name it, actually. It just says Azrock A7000 or 700 custom GPU. So yeah, two models coming in. As you can see, Azrock. This is, this is the most more budget-friendly one. And this is probably a premium. Yeah, makes sense. That's the Gunner model right there. And yeah, the, again... This is probably the Azrog, yeah. These are Azrog models. Look at those cards, man. Love to see that. So only Azrog we're looking at. And if you look into this one, yeah, 8 plus 8 pin. Interesting. So it's not going to be too much power hungry, it tells you. So yeah, Intel AIB, first AIB cards, Azrog. I mean, not actually first because Gunner was the first one. But to be honest with you, that really didn't spot a light. But now we're getting some cards that are USA based, you know, and this is Azrock coming in. So, yeah, interesting. And next up, we have Intel XES's update in Dead Stranding Director's Cut. Such a good game. I love that game. I mean, for a movie style game, obviously, it's a good game. For a gameplay style, I wouldn't really say it's a great game, but for a movie, it's great. So, yeah, it's it will it will support Intel XESS. They're the second game that they're bringing in with Intel XES's support. And yeah, good to know. I'll be looking into some uh, benchmarks here. I won't be doing any benchmarks because I don't have an Intel card or even... I mean, I, mean, I do have... But yeah, don't mention it. Anyway, so this is uh, Intel XES's support for Dead Stranding. So interesting to see what will the performance will look like. And of course, the image quality. That's the more important thing here. And this is it for today. Not really too much of a news, just small amount, but some a good amount of news, like you know the motor boats, the gunner model, and of course the Azrock Arc 700 card, pretty cool. And of course Intel XCSS is getting the second game support. So hopefully Intel XCSS will support more games in the future. For now, we'll have to endure for two games. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe because that's the most important thing for me. And have a good day.